Hi, this is my friend Tristan Lee. And this is Wayne Davis. And we're both Senior Solutions Architects at AWS. Today, we're going to walk you through a tutorial using reinforcement learning with AWS RoboMaker. The tutorial will use reinforcement learning to train a Robotis TurtleBot 3 waffle pie to drive autonomously towards a stationary Robotis TurtleBot 3 burger. Reinforcement learning is a machine learning technique where the machine can learn to make decisions without any label training data while optimizing for a long-term goal. And AWS RoboMaker is a service that makes it easy to develop, test, and deploy intelligent robotic applications at scale. First, make sure that you have set up the prerequisite in the tutorial such as setting up the S3 bucket and IAM role. Now, Let's go to the AWS RoboMaker console and click on Development Environment to create an AWS Cloud9 Development Environment. The environment is pre-configured with Robot Operating System where you can manage build configurations, create simulation jobs, and explore running simulations with Gazebo, Arviz, RQT, and a terminal. Here you give the environment a name, pick an instance type of M4 Extra Large, and in networking, make sure that you select a VPC and a subnet that has internet access. Click on Open Environment and wait for a few minutes for the environment to spin up. Once the environment is up, click on RoboMaker Resources menu and then click on Download Samples and finally click on number 5, Object Following Using Reinforcement Learning. This will download the sample application into the environment. Once downloaded, you will need to update the RoboMaker settings.json file with the S3 bucket and IAM role created in prerequisite. You will also need the VPC with public internet access, subnets, and security groups for the simulations to run. For this tutorial, the default VPC will work great. Once all the information is filled out, click on RoboMaker Run, Workflow, and Object Tracker Build and Bundle All. This will take a few minutes. Once built and bundled, click on RoboMaker Run again, Launch Simulation, Object Tracker Train Model. You will see your simulation job was created, and once the simulation job status is showing running, you can start exploring the simulation environment by clicking on RoboMaker Simulation, Applications, and Gazebo. The training model takes about eight hours to complete. Now the model is trained, click on RoboMaker Run. Launch Simulation Object Tracker Evaluate Model to evaluate how well the model is trained. As you see here, the Waffle Pi has learned to drive towards the turtle bot by itself. You can also move the stationary turtle bot around and you can see the Waffle Pi will find a new path on its own to get to the turtle bot. So the next step is to deploy the model to the actual Waffle Pie robot. The deploy details are in the tutorial, but at a high level, there are three steps involved. First, you need to compile the application in ARM architecture, which is what Waffle Pie is running on. Second, you need to upload the compiled package back to S3. Once in S3, you will need to register the Waffle Pie to the AWS RoboMaker console. Then third, create a fleet robot application, and finally, deployment to deploy the application to the Waffle Pie. Congratulations, builders. You have successfully trained and deployed a robot using reinforcement learning. Happy building. We thank you for watching this brief video on AWS RoboMaker. For more information, please visit the AWS tutorial site. <laughs>